Amen. The Lord, it seems like pastors been working with love. I know we know uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 13 back to back right now because that's where I'm coming from. And I'm coming from the entire chapter, so I will be going in and out. And I will read it. I can read it kind of fastly for you. But I will read it just to refresh you. If you go to 1 Corinthians chapter 13 and the entire chapter. Amen. And it reads, though I speak with the tongues of men and of angels and have not charity, I, I am become as silent brass or a tinkling symbol. And though I have the gifts of prophecy and understand all mysteries and all knowledge, and though I have all faith so that I could remove mountains and have not charity, I am nothing. And though I bestow all my goods to feed the poor, and though I give my body to be burned and have not charity, I profit me nothing. Charity suffers long and it's kind. Charity, if it is not charity, vaulteth not itself, it is not puffed up, does not behave itself unseemly, seeketh not her own, is not easily provoked, thinketh no evil, rejoiceth not in iniquity, but rejoice in truth, for of all things, believe all things, hope all things, and doeth all things. Charity never faileth. But whether there is prophecy, they shall fail. Whether there, there be tongues, they shall cease. Where there be knowledge, it shall vanish away. For well, we know in part, and we prophesy in part. But when that which is perfect is come, when that which is in part shall be done away. When I was a child, I spake as a child. I understood as a child. I thought as a child. But when I became a man, I put away ch childish things. For now we see through a glass darkly, but then face to face, now I know in part. But when I shall know, even as I also I am known, and now about it, faith, hope, charity, these things, these three, but the greatest of these is charity. And out of that chapter, I want to speak love in action. Amen. Amen. Love in action. Because we, we talk about love all the time. Do I love you out this, I did, you know, and nothing moves, nothing changes. But love is an action word, and love is in action. Words are cheap. You can say as many words as your little vocabulary can put out, but they don't mean nothing if you can't back them up. See, that's why I talk about love. You know, you don't, even if you feel uh, 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 frustrated with your church, God forbid, that we feel frustrated with full of God. Then just read the first chapter, the first Corinthians, the whole chapter. First Corinthians, the church was a real mess. It was messed up. People were fighting. They was gossiping. People were being prideful. And people were cliquish. Everybody was in this group. You speak in tongues, we over here. You prophesy, we over here. And everybody thought their gift was better than another one. So they wasn't loving nobody. They had all these gifts from the Holy Spirit, but they wasn't loving nobody. And Paul had to write to them and say, say that there is a variety of gifts, but there's one Holy Spirit that gives these gifts unto you. So right after he said that to them, he wrote this beautiful letter. This chapter here, he says, now let me show you a more excellent way. So Paul said, I'm going to show you how you can do it even better. With even with all your gifts and things that you have, I'm going to show you an excellent way. So he said, he sought to write the first chapter, I mean the first and first Corinthians, the 13th chapter, where we are always here at weddings. And most of the weddings that I, I perform the bride and groom, they request this particular one because they talk about all this love that oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> love and all the nice little words while they stand up tears running. Because, <laughs> you know, they hear it. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. <laughs> then, he, then, then he starts it off in a spiritual way. He starts talking about the spiritual gifts. And rather than the, the mushy part, he's going to tell you the right truth. So 
you can take it all in. You know, you can't just read that little poem that you think, oh, he never puffed up and love him and all that. You know, you're really feeling good. But Paul explains it to him, you know, about that gift. Paul said, you have the most amazing gifts. Yes. He said, like speaking in tongue and, 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 and prophesying and laying on hands. He said, but if you ain't got no love, it ain't about nothing. He said, you are trying to praise God and uh, minister for God, but yet and still you want the glory.